Hi, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy. Welcome to our series on programming in Novastar Smart. This is part three of our series. Today we're going to cover cabinet management in Smart. So inside cabinet management, you can add an RCFG, add a cabinet via an RCFGX file, export an RCFGX file, create a group for cabinet organization, think of manufacturer, project, or show. You can add a generic cabinet defining a physical size and a pixel space without an associated RCFGX file, and you can delete cabinets. Here's the offline edit page inside of Smart, and the cabinet management icon is highlighted in yellow. When you click the cabinet management icon, the screen opens up. And it's got a few buttons up here at the top. We'll go over those. And then these are the different cabinet groups. So first you have import RCFGX file. You have export RCFGX file. Uh, so you can export an RCFGX file from Smart to either use it in Nova LCT or to email it to work for your records. You have create a new group. We're going to create a new group. Uh, as you see, I currently have default, absent, and custom. We're going to create a fourth group for cabinet organization. This is create a new cabinet. This is where you create the cabinet without the RCFGX file. And delete. So let's move to smart. Let's open up our training one project that we've been working with. Here's training one. Up here in the top corner, these are all the cabinets that are currently installed in my copy of Smart. So these are all the different cabinets I've got. We're going to open up the cabinet management page. It'll open up that sub window. And you can see I have three sets of group, three groups of cabinets. I have default, absent, and, and custom. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new group. So create a group. And it creates a new group called custom one with nothing in it. And here I'm going to edit the name. I'm going to call this slices. And just click enter. There's nothing in it. I'm going to open that up. Now I'm going to import via an RCFGX file. So click the import. It opens up a regular Windows file browser window. I'm running on a Windows computer. Downloads, created folder, this base RCFGX file open and it imports it into whichever group I'm working in. So it defaults to the default group, but if you want to create a new grouping, it's better to create the group first and then just work on that group and everything will pull into that group. Uh, so that was pulling in one RCFGX file. Let's go back to import RCFGX file. There's two more cabinets in that folder. Download created. So there's Fred and there's Fred 2. So shift click on that one so they're both highlighted. Open. So now base Fred and Fred 2 are all in the slices group. So under the base we have this. So that's the export. That's delete. So I can delete a single unit. And this is the more menu. In here you have you can rename the file. You can move it to a different group, or you can edit it. And we're going to edit it. I can change the name here. You cannot change the pixel size. So the pixel size in this one is 2 by 96. Yes, 2 pixels wide, 96 pixels high. This cabinet is 20 millimeters wide. It's 1,000 millimeters long. Uh, weighs about 3 kilos. Just using the tab key to advance through the boxes. Power, I'll leave it 10 watts. Pixel pitch is 10.4. And we'll leave the voltage at 220. Click Save. So Fred. Fred is 192 pixels across by 2 pixels high. So let's go into Edit. Open up the More menu. Fred is 2,000 pixels or 2,000 millimeters wide. He's 20 millimeters high. 
Uh, sure, five kilos. Again, it's 10.4 millimeters is the pixel pitch. Save that. And Fred 2, same thing. So edit Fred 2. We're going to make him 2,000 millimeters wide, 20 millimeters high. Go down and make it 10.4 millimeters is the pixel pitch. All of the values in this more come into play when we do our export of our uh, documentation. So all our show documentation, when we do the file export of the show documents, this comes into play then. Save that. So I've edited all of them. If you notice, if I look at some of the other cabinets, they have these cute icons showing me what size. Why don't any of the cabinets that we just did have icons? Because they're physically too small. They're two pixels wide, so it's literally a very tiny line in there. Let's create one more. We're going to create a generic cabinet. So I go new cabinet. We're going to call this slice block. So this is an imaginary block of the same two pixel wide units. But instead of two pixels, we're going to do 48 of them. So it's going to be 96 pixels wide and it's going to be 96 pixels high and under the more it's going to be 1000 by 1000 millimeters uh, weight we'll make this 20 kilos power we'll make this 100 watts and again the pixel pitch on these is 10.4 millimeters and we're going to add that. So now I added it up in that group. So I have to go up there and go move to the slices group. So there's my slice block with an icon. So where do these groupings come in? Let's close the cabinet management box. So there's slice block, Fred 2. And if I open this up, there's Fred and base. And you can see now you have a, a better icon representation. So the base is a vertical slice, and Fred and Fred 2 are horizontal, and slice block is just a big square. Where they really come in, as far as that cabinet management group comes in, if I want to add an array. So this is batch add. Click on that. And now this is where the groups come in. So instead of having a giant list of a hundred different cabinets that a uh, typical freelancer will use in the course of a, a season or a year, I can click on the slices, say I want to add the slice block. I'm going to add a two by two array of the slice block. I click OK. I decide where in the virtual workspace I want to add it. Click one button and I'm done. So instead of having to add four individual cabinets one at a time and pour through an entire pour through this giant list of cabinets, just go to your batch add, find what you're looking for quickly and easily, add it, and you can move on. It speeds up your workflow tremendously. So that's everything in cabinet management. Thank you for joining us. Next time we're going to work on wiring up the cabinets to our senders and looking at port loading and things like that. So next time we'll be cabinet wiring and port loading. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day. Again, this is George Ray with the Evolve Academy.